Okay then gang, so we've already seen how to assign a type of function to a variable so that in the future this variable could hold any type of function. Now we can go one step further, be more specific as to what type of function this variable can hold by specifying a function signature. Now a function signature basically describes the general structure of a function, what arguments it takes in and what type of data it returns. For example, a function signature like this, where we just have parentheses, an arrow, and then void, this right here basically says that the function takes no arguments because there's no arguments right here, and it returns void. So let me do another example. I'm going to comment out this thing right here. And in fact, we'll do three examples, one, two, three. And the first one is going to be greet. And I'm going to say that this is going to be a function and the function signature is going to look like this. First of all, it's going to take in two parameters, a, which must be a string and b, which also must be a string. And finally, it's going to return void. So in the future, oops, this function or rather this variable can hold a function which follows this signature. So I could say something like this, greet is equal to a function. And inside that function, we have a name parameter, which is a string, and also a greeting parameter, which is also a string. Now, inside the function, all I'm going to do is console.log these two things to the console. So inside a template string, so we can output variables, I want to first of all output the name variable, which is this thing right here. And by the way, template strings, uh, we use in normal JavaScript a slightly newer feature. We can use those in TypeScript as well. Just gives us a way to dynamically output data or variables inside the string itself. So I'll say name says greeting. So this right here, this follows the signature we defined right here. And that's why we don't get an error. We have two parameters, which are both strings, A, B, name and greeting. And by the way, just because we said A and B right here, it doesn't mean that these have to be called A and B. It just means that we have two parameters. These can be called whatever you want, X and Y, if you prefer, it doesn't really matter. We're just saying that they have two parameters and they both must be strings, which is what we have in this case. And then finally, we're returning void, even though we don't explicitly say right here, we're returning void. TypeScript infers that we're returning void because we don't actually return anything. So this is absolutely fine. But if one of these right here was a number, then it's not going to match this thing right here. So then we get an error. So it has to match this signature exactly. So let's change that to string again and let's go and do another example. So this time I'll say let's calc and we're going to define the type of function. Oops, not clack, calc. We're going to define the type of function this must be. So again, parentheses, then what parameters do we want? Well, I'll say A must be a number, B must be a number, and C must be a string. And then finally, I also want to return a number from this function. Okay, so it takes three parameters, number, number, string, and it returns a number at the end. So now let's create this function. Calc is equal to a function, and the first parameter is going to be num1, and that has to be a number. The second one is num2, that also has to be a number. And the third one is going to be called action, and that is a string. Now inside here, we want to ultimately return a number. But before we do that, I'm going to say if, and I'm going to check if action that we pass in is equal to add. Then what we're going to do is add the two numbers together and return those. So return num one plus num two. So we are returning a number right here, but we still get an error. And that's because if action is not equal to add right here, then we're not actually returning anything and it must always return a number. So we need to tack on an else clause right here and say return num one minus num2, we'll say. It could be any number. I'm doing a minus instead of addition. So now the error goes because even if this is not add right here, then we're still returning a number right here. And again, we could be explicit if we want by saying number over here. We don't have to because when we return something, TypeScript infers that return type. So this works, but if we changed one of these to something like, I don't know, a string, 
and this to a boolean then obviously these things are not going to work we get errors because now we're not matching the signature of this function type okay so let me change those back this must be number and I think this must be number as well yep okay cool so let's do one more example I'm gonna say let log details and that is going to be a function whereby we have some kind of parameter I'm going to call it object in this case or obj but you can call it what you want it doesn't matter that parameter must be equal to an object where we have a name property which is a string and also an age property which is a number now this must also return void okay so let's try this out I'm going to say log details and set that equal to a function and I'm going to say the parameter name is ninja because again remember it doesn't have to match we're just saying there must be one parameter here okay and this must be an object with a name and an age which both have string and number types so let me say now inside here we must have a name which is a string and also we must have an age which is a number like so and then this is going to return void so all I'll do is console.log and we'll log out the ninja name inside a string template again and we'll first log out the ninja dot name and then we'll say is and then we'll log out the ninja dot age and we'll say years old okay so this works because now we're taking in one parameter which is this kind of object it has a name property which is of type string and an age of type number and we're not returning anything so therefore it returns void if this was something else though then it wouldn't work it wouldn't let us do that okay so we've seen how to use type aliases and we could do that right here we could say something like type ninja or even type person is equal to an object where we have a name which is a string and also an age which is a number and then what we could do down here is just say ninja is of type person like so and this is still valid even though we're not explicitly typing this out here it still matches this signature right here so if you wish you can get as specific as you like with these function types and signatures